I spent the past two years in Portugal and recently I went back to Canada and some things really surprised me. Or should I say, shocked me? I've already filmed a video about things I love about Canada after two years of living in Europe. So today we're talking about things I hate about Canada after two years of living in Europe. And don't get me wrong, I love Canada, I love Montreal, but some things, they just make me eek. And by the way, let's not forget, this is my personal opinion that might be different from yours. Please be respectful in the comments. The first thing I really hate about not Canada, but Montreal in particular, is the dry water. I forgot what it is to use a moisturizer 24 seven, literally like for my face, for my hands, for my lips, because everything is super dry. And water in Montreal is good, depending on where you live. You can drink it from your tap, but for my face, for my skin, it is just annoying. That's what I'm gonna say. My hair though is fine, so I don't know, I don't know. It's just the skin that doesn't like the Montreal water. The next one is prices and tips. I've heard a lot from my friends that prices have gone up in Canada. It's just ridiculous. You pay seven bucks for a carton of milk. And yeah, that's the case. But that's okay because it's, you know, inflation. It didn't really surprise me. But what surprised me is the tipping situation, which in my opinion is just what is going on. Yeah, we get it. COVID, we all have been impacted, stuff like that. But 20% tip? for like a bottle of water that you buy? Really? I mean, I get it. I don't mind living tips when you receive some kind of a service. You go out for a dinner and there is a waiter working, you know, going back and forth, sure. But when you get literally a coffee and the minimum percentage is 18, that's literally your job to make a coffee. I'm okay with tipping, but 20, 25%, no not happening. The next thing that I realize I don't miss is parking in Montreal. First of all, impossible to find. Second of all, these signs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a Montreal parking sign. And tell me if I can park here in this specific day you're watching the video. Yeah. After living for some time in Montreal, I've personally mastered the parking situation. But if you're new to the city, I found the app called Parky AI that helps you park in Montreal. And it is just amazing. I honestly just walk around the city and scan those signs and see how good is my knowledge of the parking signs because sometimes you can have five signs and it's like, yes, you can, no, you can, mm, maybe yes. Well, depending on the date, mm, depending on the day. And you're like, c'est quoi ça? Another thing that I don't like about Canada, or should I say Montreal, is the workout hours. So I'm used to living in Europe, working with Canada. So my morning is for my workouts, breakfast, you know, my things. First of all, here, my day starts with everybody else. But the second thing is the workouts. For example, I like cycling. I checked all the studios here nearby. All cycling classes are either at 7 a.m or at 6 p.m. There is nothing in between. There might be some classes at noon, but that's it. Like it's 7, 12 or 6. And I'm like, where are the classes at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., what's happening? But that's not the case for Toronto because I wanted to go cycling in Toronto and there is a studio called Sweat and Tonic and they would have classes all day long. So I think it's only Montreal, maybe because people just have things to do during work hours. But yeah, that was a surprise for me. I was like, well, you can go, you know, work out any time of the day, but turned out you cannot. Another thing that actually shocked me when I came back to Canada, and it's the amount of homeless people. After COVID, we can notice an increase in homeless people. And yeah, that makes sense. But what I've always thought that homeless people would prefer to live in a milder slash warmer climate like San Francisco, Vancouver. So naturally I thought, Portugal is warm, there are going to be more or just a lot of homeless people. However, that is not the case. In Lisbon, I've seen homeless people like only maybe next to railway stations, that's it. In Montreal now, you walk downtown, lots of homeless people. But for example, they used to live under the bridges, there was like a campsite, I guess, I don't know what you call it, now it's gone. So I feel like those people just moved downtown, that's it. There's no bottom line or anything. They just migrated downtown and it's more visible now. 
One of the things that I find challenging about Canada is the electricity. So when we were moving from Canada to Portugal, I had to sell all my appliances, get all the adapters, stuff like that. And now we're coming from Portugal back to Canada for a visit. People who ask me if we moved back, no, we did not move back. We are just visiting. So sometimes appliances might take a bit longer to charge. I mean, it's not super noticeable. It's not like your phone used to charge in 10 minutes. Now it's like one hour, but still, it's not a big deal, but sometimes it's super inconvenient, especially if you have your appliances with a European plug and then you need to switch to an American one. But also here's the thing, before traveling anywhere, check a few devices, support the other electricity, because some of the devices just don't support other electricity. When we were moving, I had to sell all my Dyson stuff because it does not support 220. It's 2023, what do you mean it doesn't support 220? Dyson, hello, can you please work on this situation? And the best part, I messaged Dyson and they're like, well, sell your old hair dryer and buy a new one. Customer service. The next thing I used to hate while living here, still hate, and it is construction. The amount of construction in Canada increases year by year. I've spent six years in Canada and the construction in Montreal never stopped. On top of building condos, on top of repairing the roads, they're building REM now, which is a train system here in Montreal. And it's a good thing. Train is super convenient. You can take it from the airport, get to downtown Montreal in 20 minutes. Perfect. But the amount of noise, the amount of dust and garbage, is just ridiculous. Also in Lisbon, I think I've seen construction once and like that's it. In Montreal, you're literally navigating through those cones because construction is everywhere. I mean, it's good, it's good. The city is developing and hopefully one day my grandkids see Canada without construction, but I'm not quite sure about that. After living in Portugal for two years, I forgot that insects exist. I came back to Montreal and I was like, oh my God, first of all, all those mosquitoes, second of all, spiders. In Lisbon, insects just don't live. I think the winds and the, the climate in general, no. Like our balcony is perfectly clean. There is no bug, no nothing. I forgot what it is to spray your balcony every spring so spiders do not, you know, live on your balcony. And I know, I know insects are good for the environment, stuff like that, but I personally don't do insects. I don't like that. However, in Portugal, we have cockroaches like this and uh, they fly. So I don't know which ones I like better, the cockroaches or the spiders. And the next one is my favorite. I completely forgot that scum calls exist until I came back to Canada because I started receiving those calls being like, hello, this is an automated system, blah, blah, blah. In Portugal, in two years, guess how many scam calls I got? Like two? And those were survey calls? In Canada, I thought I blocked pretty much all the numbers, yet I still get a call like once a week. And if you haven't seen it already, I've made a video about scammers in Canada. Please watch it after this video so you don't fall for those traps because when I just moved to Canada, I almost, I almost fell for that. I was like, oh my God, they're gonna deport me. It's social insurance calling me. They want like blah, blah, blah. Watch the video. And this is it for today. I wouldn't say these things interfere with my day-to-day -day life. I hate them so much that I wouldn't like stay in Canada or like move to Canada in the first place. Those things, you can live with them. They're not like super, uh, uh. But yeah, these things surprised me a lot when I came back because I honestly forgot about many of them, like spiders and construction. If you just moved to Canada or you live in Canada, let me know what you hate about it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.